Hey guys, what's up? It's Emmy from The Cookie Nook. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me for some uh, Valentine's Day decorating. We will want our icing bags, your cookies, your toothpick, and some scissors, and definitely some uh, paper towels in case you get a little messy. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna decorate our hearts in three different ways. So just start by rubbing your bags to mix those colors back together if there's been any separation. You wanna make sure that if water has settled to one part of the bag, usually the side that was laying down, um, you wanna mix it back in so that you don't have runny icing. Usually I do a little bit of a thicker consistency on the mini kits just because oftentimes it's um, younger people, younger kids, young adults who are making these and you just have a little more control when the icing is thicker so it's not running off the sides. So once you've mixed your colors together, then we're going to cut them. We're going to cut our bags. We're going to cut small tips. Okay, start small because we can go back and make them bigger after. If this is your first time doing this, trust me when I say go small first, okay? If this isn't your first time doing this, then you know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna just do small tips. And we can cut them bigger when we need to. Okay, so do that to all three bags and then just make sure to find that piece of plastic that you're cutting off and move it out of the way so that we don't have it in our cookie. Okay? So we're gonna have our bags cut and ready to go. And a couple pointers is I like to knot off my bag and I like to hold it at the top. Okay, so we hold at the top and then my elbow stays down on the table. So I anchor my elbow and I hover above the cookie with my bag. I don't want my elbow up in the air because then it's really hard to get a nice steady hand, okay? All right, so the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna use our pink icing. All right, so we're gonna start with outlining the cookie. So for that, you hover above the cookie See how high above it I am? And you just go around the cookie. So for the pink one, this is gonna be a two-step. So now we squeeze a little more to flood the cookie. So this first section, this first step is just to cover this cookie in pink. So I squeeze the bag a little harder. You don't want to squeeze it so hard that you explode the bag open because that can happen. If by chance that does happen to you, you get a hole in your bag, just pop it into a little Ziploc bag and then cut a new hole in the Ziploc bag. Now with your toothpick, we're gonna smooth this out. So just kind of clean up your edges and then shake it. Sorry, that gets loud there for a minute. Okay, if you see air bubbles, you wanna pop them, poke it down. Just clean up your edges with your toothpick. Okay, so for now, that's our first step. And we're gonna put the pink to the side and we're gonna let that get a crusted layer. So we move that to the side. And then we're gonna do our red. We're gonna need all three colors, but the base color on this one is gonna be red. So we're gonna outline red. And you might want to watch me once you get your outline on. You might wanna watch for a minute just to see how I do it. Because now I'm gonna flood, but then I'm gonna add another step to it. So right now I'm flooding it, so I squeeze just a little more pressure so it comes out 
thicker. And just like we did for the pink, just go round and around. Now I would say if you are maybe 10 and under, you might want a bigger hole cut in your bag so that it can squeeze out a little quicker just because um, different ages have a different ability to get it pushed out and smooth. And then we shake it, smooth it on out. And now we're gonna add our lines going through, doing white first, and then in between the white, I'm gonna add rows of pink. And now, I'm gonna take my toothpick and drag it down the middle and then I go over to the side and drag it up. I like to clean my toothpick off and then drag down, clean it off, drag up, drag down, drag up. And I go to the other side. I had gone down in the middle. So now on this side, I go up, down, up, down, and now I'm gonna just clean the edges and shake it out again. See, for that part, you kind of want to move a little quickly so that it'll smooth back out. If we take too long on that part, then it's not gonna smooth out once you drag your toothpick through it. Okay, so that's pretty design for that one. And then you're done with that cookie move it off to the side and then for this cookie we're gonna do a little bit of a leopard print so again you might want to watch me do it first be, so that you can get all your steps in one you'll notice my cookies are a little different than yours because I had extra dough from my sprinkled with love cookies so I just used that to make my sample set so I go outline with the white, flood with the white. It looks like we're supposed to be getting a pretty big snowstorm for Valentine's Day. So that's kind of fun, All right? You can decorate your cookies, do some baking, play in the snow. All right, so smooth that out. And then while it's still wet, before it crusts over, we're gonna take our pink and just do some like random blobs. You don't want them to be perfect circles. These are kind of just like kidney bean shapes. Okay, you can make some small and some big. And then you're gonna take your red and just, we're not gonna totally outline it. You just kind of like go like a little bit on this side and a little bit on that side. A little bit here, a little bit there. Then I'm just gonna add some red dots around. Which you could do now or you could wait until this crusts over and then do red dots. Okay, 
And as long as we do that quick enough, it will all smooth out. If you have a part that's kind of sticking up a little, you just poke at it. You just poke, then get down. All right, so our leopard cookie is done. So we have our little patterned cookie and our leopard cookie. And now we're gonna go back to our pink cookie. All right, let me move these out of the way without sticking my thumb in them because I have a bad habit of that. Okay, so for the pink cookie here, we're gonna add a little bit of a white like drizzle frosting to the top. We want it to look kind of like it's a um, frosting dripping with a little bit of sprinkles. So you're going to take your white and we're gonna go towards the top here and outline it and then make a zigzag kind of drip. They can be different lengths. So that one drips a little, but then that one drips a lot. Little, lot. And now we're gonna go and fill that in with white. So we're flooding just that white section. Now the pink should have crusted enough that the white is gonna sit on top and not melt into the pink. And our sprinkles shouldn't really stick to the pink either. Our sprinkles are just gonna stick to the white part here. Okay, so gently now, because we don't wanna crack the pink, we're just gonna shake it a little bit to smooth it out. You take your toothpick and kind of poke at any parts that are sticking up. And then you're gonna take your sprinkles and just sprinkle them into this white one, this white section. And let me know, are you eating your cookies? Are you gonna give them away to someone special? I know my kids are getting these ones. My husband will get the other set I decorate for the other kit tutorial. And then we have a tradition of doing breakfast for dinner on Valentine's Day, so usually Belgium waffles, and then a big pot of hot chocolate and a ton, like melted chocolate, and a ton of things to dip in it. I love chocolate covered strawberries. All right, so there we go. Those are our Valentine's cookies. I would love to see pictures, so if you snap a picture and you can send it to me, or if um, an adult posts it on Facebook, make sure they tag me so I can see how yours came out and what you created, okay? And I hope you enjoy them if you're gonna eat them or if you share them with someone special. Happy Valentine's Day, guys.